to do, my baby booze, and welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hey, ha, how are you? What to do? My name is Alyssa, and I am the girl with the plum bob tattoo. But y'all can call me Liss or Lissa, whatever suits you both. Or you could call me girl with the plum bob tattoo. I don't really care. Anyway, so today we are taking a second look at my progress for a zombie apocalypse CC free save. So as y'all know, Journey to Batu was officially released, I think, this week, right? So when I was looking at this pack I was like oh my god this is going to be so good for my zombie apocalypse kind of themes and everything and um, today we're gonna take a look at what I did with some of the items with journey to Batu um, alongside some older builds that I finished up before the pack was released so without further ado let's show you so we actually went through this neighborhood already we've only shown you these four builds I have so much more to show you so let's hop in um, we're gonna go over to this um, neighborhood but first I want to show you the Oasis Springs Market so let's go all right guys so welcome to the Oasis Springs Market we're here actually with Zoe Patel who just got a fresh uh, zombie makeover doesn't look very fresh but it, it is so let's take a look at the market so what I went ahead and did is I actually took a lot of buildings that were from different packs or whatever in the show live edit objects menu and I turned it into like basically this new kind of market where people can go and sell their items that they've been working on so like if you're a candle maker we have some we actually have a candle set that you can make um candles on and then we also have a few little booths over here for selling your own items and everything we have like a tent we have an abandoned little let me just like go into tab mode maybe that'll be easier to see everything but we have like a little um abandoned like hotel or motel and uh, usually like the shell wouldn't really do anything to like enhance gameplay so so what I went ahead and did is I actually, if you can see, I added some game tables and everything. So you can go inside the uh, hotel or motel or whatever. It is boarded up in like the main part of it, but you can go underneath it and play some board games or whatever. And then we also have like a lot of Batu buildings that act as kind of the shell ar around a couple things. So like we have a table underneath one of them and also like one, of it kind of looks like a go-kart, doesn't it? It kind of does, but uh, we have that underneath this building. Y'all can put whatever you want. It actually still says enter Oga's Cantina, but um, I digress. We have over here in this corner, the DJ thing, the like robotic DJ from Journey to Batu. We have some stands and everything. Uh, unfortunately, you will have to hire your own vendors. That's the only thing, but you can totally do that and have it be functional. Oh, and in this shell, I didn't even know this, but you can go ahead and plan some outfits, freshen up or get some sleep in this building over here if you really wanted to. And then we have like the middle of it looks really, really cool. I have that one thing where it's like, you know, it's got like the fabric on all sides and everything. So uh, we have like the pillars holding that stuff up and everything. So that's really cool. And then uh, we actually have a little corner like around this corner over here in between two shell buildings. We have the little like bathroom area. So this is the area where you can go to collect water, get some trash or throw it away or whatever. We have the Strangerville thing over here with the um, compost thing from Eco Lifestyle and then we have this building which is a shell that actually has all of the bathrooms inside of it so it's kind of like functional in a way but not really I mean <laughs> you're gonna have to still kind of like go through and it'll turn invisible when you get too close to it but if you don't this is the inside of it, it you can't see the inside from the inside if you know what I mean like the clay part but we have some bathrooms right here for you to freshen up I have a sink over here but it didn't count as like the actual sink for the park so I ended up putting one over in this area like if you can see you can see it like right 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 there right there anyway so where am I okay so but you can keep going around the corner though and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can go do over here if that suits your needs better or like you know tickles your fancy a little bit more I actually have a person on the swing right now and then there's just like some objects over here so like it'll look like this when you actually go through and look like kind of like a back passageway or whatever so this is the the first order schematics table I don't know why I put it out there I just you know new items <laughs> and then um over here I have a few new items like these are new they weren't part of the base game we have the mother over here and I put down like a little house because they gave us so many new shells I'm not even sure where this shell came from but it's so cute look at that so that is the Oasis Springs market 
it's basically all the survivors kind of came together and turned the park into this like kind of community place where people who are not zombies can gather and like barter and stuff and and try their hand out at survival in a different in a different kind of way and with a cool dj you know kind of backing you up get some get some music in the background kind of nice kind of nice over here though we have another like vendor stall that came from the batu and i have um a little planter right here so people can start like something of a, co a community garden if they want to you can expand on this if you get the save but like that's just what i put there so yeah and then we have some more shell buildings this came from strangerville and then this awning came from of course journey to batu i have a lot of different um packs just kind of working together to make this really cohesive apocalyptic kind of save so over here um by this tree we have this little fountain and a little insect farm where you can you know go over here and collect insects if you really wanted to unfortunately the air <laughs> i love how i say it's unfortunate but the air is um very clean here so if you wanted to you could come here if you needed some fresh air but i'm not sure if i'm gonna change that or not i might um you know make the air kind of like uniformly Roy. dirty but it looks like she was a little hungry so she's just gonna grab herself some what is it what are you making hot dogs or something so i'm gonna let her do that and then after she eats we will show you the rest of the neighborhood like the the one neighborhood with the uh -huh. bunker in it the town bunker which i love i love this build y'all i'm so excited to show you what she created so let's just grab a serving and let her just eat a little bit and then i will meet you over we'll say at her house all right guys we are at the rafia quinta quinta this is zoe patel's house so if you just take a look we're right next to the um town bunker so that is what is right next to her kind of towering over her little humble abode but this is her house this is her neighborhood very um stupidly run down seriously a lot has happened since the um zombie apocalypse i'll see you guys before i jump in i was wondering if you thought it would be a good idea to provide one version where there is like cc that i create like paintings and stuff that would look interesting or whatever like you could just download the cc files with the game but also like make it optional if you don't want CC in your game um, that could also be like a thing as well but when I like put this up for download I could totally put a little bit of CC in here to sprinkle it in and then I was thinking like of making like kind of a mystery that you guys could play through and like figure out how the apocalypse happened through like a bunch of paintings and stuff that I like add descriptions to let me know because I could totally make like a little scavenger hunt and make this completely I don't know even cooler than it already is but anyway so this is Zoe's house let's just just kind of walk on in let me just take you through in tab mode actually so let's just go through so this is her little front door of course once you go through it gets a little dramatic so this is her house hasn't really been taken care of like at all at all at all but uh it's really really cool looking so this is what it looks like <laughs> super super messy and her house runs on a generator and she has not even started that and i did that on purpose in case you wanted to play as her but um in this room over here we have the bathroom which it looks like she completely replaced and put in her own stuff because possibly the plumbing and stuff does not work anymore or did not work when she first kind of moved in here and what i imagine is that this wasn't her house before you know the whole zombie thing happened but you know she kind of ended up moving in here on a whim running away from the zombies so this is her room let me just get in the corner so that i can show you her bed is off center we've got clothes everywhere the rug is super gross um, but we have a we have a fireplace over here and a little portrait that she took a little picture of what's going on outside of her house by the uh what you call it by the bunker or yeah the town the town bunker so once we get out here there is one door left to go through and what's really sad is it's actually an abandoned nursery so we have a nursery we have like a little crib that was actually taken from a hospital somewhere she never ended up using this this wasn't for her so there must have been survivors living here before she ended up living here so if you see behind her there's so much stuff going on so the whole neighborhood is just trashed there are cars right here that have crashed into each other and I'm in no way finished with this neighborhood either like I still have a little bit to go but I just wanted to show you because I'm just like really I'm just really proud of how far I've come so this is the neighborhood as you can see there are some buried people
people over here <laughs> very like um nonchalantly oh my god this poor guy so there's this person who's buried here and there's just trash right above the thing so that is her house let's go over where should we go next should we go to the bunker let's go to the bunker okay so we are at the town bunker and i was thinking that if we like have any kind of mystery that we could actually have it start here if you you know wanted to do it like that which i could do like kind of like a treasure hunt mystery i'm really excited about that so let me know if you think the same so what i went ahead and did is i used some journey to batu shells to kind of craft this whole bunker outside so that you could see that like you know people would be monitoring the top part right here like the military and then over on the inside is where people would go in to gather to like be safe from the virus or whatever so this is where people were kind of like starting to gather up on the street there was something that happened over here where like the military got kind of like cut off and um things just went south so if we go into the bunker let me just do the walls side up or whatever so this is the inside the people who are going in just to like gathering into the bunker for protection they would go through these doors where they'd get scanned and then they would go through this door where they would go into this little room and the only thing in this little room is a ladder so let's go down so then they would take the ladder to this room this is specifically so zombies couldn't do it this is specifically so only people can actually do this themselves so then they would take another ladder down and get to this room is where where we would really check in and make sure that they are like civilians and that you know like they're really trying to do that little one last ditch effort to kind of check people in and make sure that everybody who is here is is accounted for and everything like that so after they get checked in by security or right here is where they would go through these doors and then through this hall they would go through these doors and then through this hall <laughs> they would go through these doors and then another pair of doors the protection is insane so another pair of doors and then only then do we get to these ladders right here and then you go down these ladders and through this room and you go right into a community grow room this is actually a community um space so what has happened here is we turned this bunker into kind of a place where people could live to survive if you really wanted to but they aren't going to see any sunlight they do have a community board where they can vote on stuff and things like that and then we have bunk beds or not bunk beds <laughs> i wish we had bunk beds oh my gosh can you imagine how many people you could fit into a bunker with freaking bunk beds but we have some rooms right here where people would be two beds per room you'd have a roommate this one would be somebody who's rich and you know has like the best bed in the whole place but there is some storage here so it is one of the bigger rooms so they ended up putting some storage in there and like all the rooms use these doors and everything and they have windows so there's not a whole lot of privacy but oh wait all of them have roommates never mind <laughs> except for this person I thought for some reason I was like thinking that these rooms were one bed per room but that is not the case so everybody would have a roommate they're all kind of exactly the same except this one I had Zoe go ahead and put in the copy of the photo that she took and the caption is the sirens rang our ears and so she basically took this on her way to live in the bunker and this was her bed at one point when the virus first started you know the whole town was in here but right now it looks kind of deserted you can still visit it but it's kind of deserted so we have um this for some toddlers i didn't en actually end up putting any toddler beds in there but i figured if you have a toddler that you want to actually put in here then you can go ahead and add a toddler bed if you really wanted to maybe take out one of one of these beds over here and just put in a toddler bed instead so that you can like share the room with your toddler and then we have you know some shower rooms we have the stalls and we have like a little um lunch room slash kind of dining room area and this uses university if you'll notice we have like a little gathering part right here where actually the chiefs and everything can make their speeches from below so if you'll look over here this door goes to a ladder so you can go down one more floor but this door is heavily heavily secured so that only the people who are authorized to go through can actually go through so let's go down one more level and this is where they give their presentations and kind of you know talk to the people about what's going on and you know how long they'll be staying there and everything and then we have this door which is insane and this goes into they have their own little hospital where they can give birth to people <laughs> I guess where you can give birth and have surgery and everything and then they have some high-tech stuff high-tech 
gizmos where they can study everything that is going on. We actually have a sim ray as well. That's cool. If you actually end up living here, this could be yours. You know, if you like turn this residential and actually start living here. And then we have military bunkers over here. So the people who work there sleep through over here. Anyway, so that is the bunker guys. Let's go over to, hmm, I guess we could just go over here to this next house. This is the last one that I actually edited and it is a very, very interesting. Let's take a look at it. All right, so this is Camp Casa guys. And I'm gonna need you to go back into the garb you were wearing. Thank you. Much better. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so this is basically a like holding camp for people who have been living through the apocalypse for quite some time. Why don't we go ahead and knock on the door so that we can actually gain access to it and then we can take a look at it. So you can already kind of see the backyard is heavily gated and there are some tents where people can kind of stay if they are, you know, trying to stay the night. It said that nobody was home, but there actually are some people home. So that's a little strange. So this is the new roommate's household. Once you go in, like there's a lot, there's a lot to look at. So let's just kind of go in. I used, like I said, all Star Wars stuff. Well, mainly, mainly Star Wars stuff. So we have this little entertainment area, which used to be for the TV now kind of holds their treasures that they've like gone out and kind of scavenged and everything. So that kind of holds everything. And it's just kind of a cool entertainment center that I figured was interesting to look at. And then we have the uh, dining area. Well, the dining area is over there. This is like the sitting area and lounging area. And then the dining area, like I said, is over here. So this is the dining table. And then um, I just put Batu stuff over here. There was just a coffee pot over here before and I was like, boring. So I just put some Batu stuff over there. Actually, I kind of want to change those countertops to brown because everything else I did change colors of. So this is the kitchen. I kept it yellow because I don't know, they just probably wouldn't have bothered to paint it or anything. I did replace the bar though. They had like a, a basic yellow bar and I just went ahead and put in the curved Batu bar and just kind of decorated it a little bit. Put in some uh, plants and stuff you can see. And then over here is, it used to be like a one bed kind of room, but now it's just kind of like a generator slash power slash water room, just kind of something to keep the plumbing and the electricity going. And then through this door is another bathroom right here, which is just really basic. I didn't really change anything in here. And then through the bathroom, you can actually go into one of the bedrooms. This is the um, main bedroom or one of the main bedrooms. And then over here, we can go into this room. This is another bedroom. Just really, like I said, really great gross. We've cobwebs and like cracks in the walls and stuff, but it is livable at the very least. And then they have their own bathroom. So there is that. Let's go back outside this room so we can just show you the rest of the house. I will show you the, the center garden, but first I want to show you the last bedroom, which is this. <laughs> Literally like nothing crazy, but like there you go. So we do have one more bathroom that I can show you and then we'll show you the inside garden. This is the bathroom. It's got a vent in it and um, a makeshift shower. So there we go. Let's go over to the um, plant room. As you can probably already see, we do have a miniature little um, mother plant, which I thought was kind of interesting. Like I figured that this house could be somewhere where like there were plants that were like mutated and that kind of like contributed to the end of the world. So like maybe this is where all the mother plants came from and like the spores came out of the middle of the house or something. I don't know. But we have one big cactus tree that just kind of grew huge through the entirety of the house. And then it looks like there's some chemicals kind of going into the plants through this little machine here. So that is this house. And then we just have that little outside where there is um, a garden and this like really cute tree that came from Batu. Oh, we can, oh, we can actually scan the wishing tree. That's interesting. And then I went ahead and used the tool mod to put this tree in the middle of the grass. So you can't actually do anything with it unless you have the tool mod, which you can get if you if you wanted to change anything up about the world. 
world. But then I also used the Batu stuff, the shells, to plop this bad boy. This is actually two different shells just kind of merged together. So this is one shell right here. And then this little one is a shell as well. So uh, yeah, it kind of looks like there are other people living in like the dunes of the Oasis Springs. So that is one. And then also this is a bench. Did you guys know that this huge thing right here is a bench? It's kind of cool. That's what we have at the uh, marketplace as well. So let's hop over to another place. This has a guy living here, right? All right, we are at the Vista Quarry. Let's go ahead and knock on the door. So this place is really, really cute. I think I did this on stream, if I'm not mistaken, but I put like vines and everything are kind of growing on top. And I also put like a billboard here as well. So let's hop on in. This is very, very messed up, very messy. We have the master bedroom with the bed all crazy and like it's got stains on it and stuff. The bathroom is looking real, real crazy as well. I'm sure that you guys might want to go through this and look at it yourself too, but like it's, it's a mess guys. It's a mess in here. I don't think anybody is actually in here though. Oh yeah, this is him right here. So this is the owner of the house, Sri Flood, and he's actually a scientist, believe it or not. I would change him into his everyday outfit, which is more apocalyptic if I could. I will give everybody their like full makeovers before you guys get this save too. So just so you know, like they're not going to change into normal clothes. Like if it's hot or anything for you guys, I'm going to do all, redo all of their um, outfits. But this was a little boy's room. It hasn't been touched since there was a little boy living in it. Well, it looks like everything has been kind of rummaged around though. Like not everything kind of lines up the way that they should. And um, it obviously isn't going to be functional to like play together or anything, but you can definitely play by yourself unless you go, go through and kind of like remake everything kind of sturdy and straight again. So if you wanted to go ahead and do that, you can totally do that. We have a very messy backyard. This whole side of the neighborhood is really littered with a bunch of random things, but you can do the whole home recycler thing as well in this neighborhood, as well as the other neighborhood too. And that wishing well where you can gather water from, you can go to the market to go ahead and do. So yeah, so we actually also have a cow plant because I found that one randomly in the debug catalog where it was actually fully grown. So we have a little cow plant that you can mess around with. Anyway, so that is this house. I kind of want to go through it quickly. So that's it. This is what the outside looks like. Very, very nice. Okay, and let's head over to this house. So this is the Springscape house. I went in through Build By because nobody is living here, so she wouldn't be able to get in. So this is this house. It's completely cluttered. I think I did this house on stream as well. So this house has a lot going on. It's very overgrown. Like nobody has been taking care of it because nobody lives here right now. So this is one of the open houses, basically the open house of this neighborhood. So if you wanted, you can move into this one, but it is not a starter lot because of how much damage it has. Plants have been growing in here. There's graffiti on the wall. Like paintings have been knocked off the wall through here. I'm just kind of quickly showing you just because time is running out, but this is the bathroom. It looks like some people have kind of gone through and, you know, taken advantage of it and kind of like lived here for a second, like a hot second, maybe running from zombies. We have an old TV in here that you can use if you can get this place generated up and, you know, take the, put the power back on. This used to technically be a little girl's room, but there is a cot here instead. So not a little girl's bed. So that tells me that people have lived here very briefly, just squatting. So we have a water generator here so you can actually like get some plumbing going, which is nice. And um, like I said, the power generator so you can actually get some power in this little muff or this little ma. <laughs> <laughs> I did not mean to swear. It just kind of popped out. But yeah, you guys, so that is the second part of my zombie save that I really wanted to show you guys. Like I said, I've been working on this for a little while now, and I can't wait to release it to you guys for the public. I just got to do a couple more neighborhoods and then also the like shops and everything, which I'm going to make really cool looking as well. But let me know, you guys, if I should add some CC that I personally create to the file so that you can like have like a little bit of a, a mystery to solve when you're here so that there's actually more to do other than just kind of living in a really cool looking world. So let me know what you think in the comments down below. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you in my very next video. Bye loves. Mwah.